I just found some footage uh, of a project that I uh, did back in 2003 and another project that I did in 2004. Well, it's been, oof, what, 12 years since uh, I lived in my box the first time. I didn't bring anything inside and I just painted the whole time. As a result of that project, my whole philosophy on art changed. Um, that art actually isn't about me. Um, it's actually about uh, the public and how the public perceives art, how the public views art, how the public becomes relevantly engaged with art. The first box, I didn't want people to talk to, interact, or um, you know, do anything with the box. Uh, it was purely meant for an art piece because the first one was so successful and people seemed to really like it, but they actually started drawing on the box and incorporating their own graffiti on the outside. There's someone inside. Oh, okay. And he's going to be there for 72 hours. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's crazy. I think he's crazy. You think he's crazy. <laughs> but what, what makes him crazy? Uh, the fact that he, he'd subject himself to this kind of thing? I don't know, 72 hours seems like an awful long time. Yeah. Um, when I lived in big box, James and the Giant Box, I, uh, I embraced um, that whole process. I embraced um, people um, drawing on the outside of the box, them graffitiing, and uh, it's amazing how that work has evolved and changed uh, my whole outlook on the performative aspect of art. He's going to have a lot of time to think about it. If he's, yeah. he's, he's going to be in his painting a lot. He's going to be thinking a lot about what he's putting in Work. Um, obviously, he's been in there for quite a number of hours there, and it seems every time I was in the camera, he's been still painting the entire time and focused. So, I think it'll be, you know, it'll be, he'll come out of a change, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. By the title, I'm trying to get people to maybe think outside of the box and you know, just give it a box. Yeah, I think it's interesting. I think it's very expressive. He's putting himself out there for everyone to watch. You know, he has a camera on him at all times. Exactly, yeah. It's very interesting. Yeah. People can see that art is not just something that you put in your house or in a gallery. I mean, a lot of people are understanding and they're actually getting it that this is art. This whole process, this whole production, if you will. I'm a little tired because I didn't really eat anything today. But I'm happy with my piece. My part of the piece at least. It's certainly coming along. Um, I think I'm going to get some sleep just because I Five and a half more days. Well, I heard that I was on the news tonight. That's pretty cool. Do you think this would have made a, as big an effect if it were, say, in like a gallery space, well advertised, or anything like that? Like in the context of like an art gallery, do you think it would have had the same sort of feel, or do you think it changed it drastically? The fact that it's here definitely makes a difference. Yeah. I'm just getting ready to go to bed and uh, I got a lot done last night and uh, yesterday. I was worried that I wasn't going to get anything done, but <laughs> it's not the case. It was awesome that uh, people could come in this time actually into the box and check and see what was going on in my head while 
I was in here. Um, but yeah, it's definitely something I want to continue doing. When I lived in the, these boxes, um, I was inspired by the students. I, I, I did it two more times uh, uh, at Keswick High School. Um, I lived in a box for three days, um, uh, 66 hours in a 66 inch box. Also lived in a box, um, a 42-inch box for 42 hours, and um, just the the public engagement and uh, the fact that how my interactions, my conversations with students and people that came to visit these boxes actually inspired me to create the works that I did. the public um, into the creation of the piece, which is a, a piece that I just finished for C4 Church. Um, it, it was called New Hope, and it's, it's a piece that um, uh, engages uh, the congregation to, to, to see how the Spirit moves, and to see how the congregation and what they wrote on, on the actual piece inspired me to create the work that I did. This has actually been the foundational principle on how I develop and create my own art now. Um, I believe in collaboration um, and collaboration through um, dialogue and uh, conversations with other people and students has been one of those founding principles of how I um, have become a performance artist. So after reflecting on the last 12 and a half, 13 years of my performance art career, I've noticed that there's a huge shift in the fact that I was at the beginning trying to promote James Ruddle. But since then I have found um, great hope in Jesus Christ. My hope is that this documentary has shown you the evolution of how I have become a performance artist on fire for Jesus. <laughs>